Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Lisa over here with Yes I Can Chef and I was just thinking about making some cucumber kimchi. So I was talking to my friend Britt and she's been asking me for a while now. So shout out Britt to you. I'm gonna show you how to make a quick cucumber kimchi. We're doing the first step for making cucumber kimchi, a really quick recipe. So I'm going to channel peel the cucumbers. I'm using English cucumbers here but you can also use Persian cucumbers. They are just as good and those are a little smaller. Um, the key is that you want something without big seeds, right? So after you channel peel it, I'm just using two halves of a cucumber right here. And then I'm just going to cut it, depending on how thick that you want it for your pickles. I don't like to go too thin either because I want more texture. Okay, so I'm just gonna do it about that thick. The next step is to take some fine salt and you're just going to let these cucumbers sit with salt for a good hour to an hour and a half. And the key thing is for this step right here that we're doing is we're going to extract extra moisture out of the cucumbers. That way when we marinate it in the kimchi marinade, it can actually, you know, soak in the flavor and actually absorb the flavors of the kimchi marinade we'll, we'll be adding later on. So again, I'm adding it in layers, salting it up, and I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge with the salt for an hour to an hour and a half. You don't wanna go too long with it either because then it gets salty. So just be careful with that. Put a timer on and then pull out the cucumbers and I'll show you what to do after that. So it's been an hour and a half for the cucumbers and all of this water came out. And that's exactly what you want before we put in the marinade. Right now too, I'm going to rinse off the water and the salt. So all that extra water, I'm just gonna to toss out. And that salt that's still on the cucumber, you wanna rinse it off, otherwise it's gonna to be too salty. All right, so we have our cucumbers that were cut like this. You can cut it any way you want, but these have been soaked with the salt already and been drained out and rinsed out with water. We have sugar. You can use any type of sugar that you want, white sugar, brown sugar, or you can use honey as well. I have fish sauce, or they call it patis in the Philippines, nook mom. It's really up to you uh, what brand that you want to use, the one that you like, okay? There's so many different brands out there. Then we have a regular onion. We have green onion, but garlic chive is better. But since I don't have garlic chive, we have a regular green onion, carrot. We have ginger. And we have sesame oil. And we have your gochujaru, which is the Korean chili flakes. I like this brand. It's mother-in-law's. And that's pretty much it. That's all we need. Now, these portions are not how much you need. I just took out all the ingredients just for you all to see. But I'm not going to use all of this, okay? So the cucumbers that we rinsed off, we want it to be really, really dry. So just make sure that those are dry so that the marinade can actually stick to it, okay? Then you can put it back into your container. So we have that cucumbers there, okay? Then I'm taking this since I dried it off anyways, might as well use it. Then I'm actually going to go ahead and get my carrot and my ginger out and peel those first. Okay, as I mentioned that you don't really need the whole carrot nor do you need all of this ginger. I just wanted to show you the ingredients. So we're gonna start off with using half the carrot, but I'm gonna go ahead and peel the whole thing. Okay. I like to peel everything at the same time so that I can keep my cutting board nice and neat. I'm only going to need part of this ginger. Just use about an inch of the ginger. 
And then I'm gonna peel it like I taught you with a spoon, right? Just take a spoon and you're just gonna peel the skin off. This allows you to take off just a little bit of skin. The peeler takes too much off. Also, most of the flavor in ginger is right underneath the skin. So just that amount of ginger. And then we have our carrot peels here. And then since I have this, on here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my onion in half as well, just so I can take off the peels. So for the onion, you can take, not the root end off, but the top. So once I took that part of the onion off, now I have a good base for me to be able to cut it in half. So I, now I can cut it in half, right? Keep the other part of the onion for something else. Now, since we're doing slices out of it, I'm gonna go ahead and take the other part off where the root is. If I was doing a dice, then I would actually keep that part on to keep the onion together, but I don't need to do that in this case because I'm actually doing onion slices. Then I can go ahead and peel the onion. Right? Then I can actually take all of these peels, easy cleanup, Go ahead and get that out of your way. All right, for my onion, I'm gonna do slices. So really thin julienne. So again, you're gonna go around here. You're gonna go take your knife on an angle and cut thin slices out of it. Once it gets to this point, turn it. And keep slicing. And you have your slices of onion here. And then I have my ginger. I'm going to cut it into planks first. Thin planks. I'm going to pile it up. so that I can make slices out of it. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're just actually going to mince it. You can also grate the ginger as well on a microplane or if you have a special grater, you can do that as well. I'm just going to mince this I actually love ginger, so I don't mind the ginger being um, not grated because I like that extra bite to it. So it's your preference. If you like it more fine, then go ahead and use a microplane. So I'm gonna take that however you want it. That's how you can do it. So again, this isn't by any means for your garlic. When you're peeling garlic right here, I like to cut the root end off, not all the way through, and then just leave that little nub right there for you to be able to peel the garlic easily, okay? For this garlic, we're going to you can mince it, you can make it into a paste. I like making it into a paste so that the garlic flavor is really pungent in the kimchi. You can also use a microplane as well for this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start it off with a mince. You can use a clove, two cloves of garlic, depending on the size right here, equaling about a tablespoon of your garlic. Okay, smash it down on the cutting board first. And again, it's really your preference, right? If you like more of the garlic flavor, go ahead and add more garlic. It's really up to you. You can make it any way you want. So I'm just gonna take the garlic down. I like cutting it down to smaller pieces before I actually start the mincing process. It makes it easier to get it to a fine mince or even the paste. 
So again, using it on your cutting board, all you're doing is lifting this part up and letting it fall. All right, so we're gonna finish messing up the garlic. Just letting the knife fall. And then we're gonna make it into a paste for this because I like the paste, right? So I'm just gonna make sure all the garlic is off of the knife. I'm adding a little bit of salt onto it to help make it into a paste. I'm gonna put my knife flat and I'm actually just gonna take a little bit of time and smash it to the cutting board, releasing more of that garlic flavor in there. You don't have to do it for too long. As you can see, smashed it here. And then I'm taking it and now it's smashed already. So that's your garlic paste. Go ahead and rinse your knife after you cut garlic. It sticks to everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my knife off. Take my clean towel as well. Make sure my knife is nice and clean. Wipe down your cutting board always. And then for your carrots. For your carrot, I'm gonna do a fine julienne for the carrot. Now julienne is just a matchstick cut that you're gonna cut into strips. And typically some people cut it into segments and then cut it into rectangle, rectangle planks and then cut it into strips. What I like to do to waste less of the carrot is I like to cut it on a bias. So I, so I cut it on a bias and then I'm gonna cut it into strips from there. Now you're not gonna use all of this, right? You're not gonna use all of this carrot. You can save the other pieces of the carrot for something else. Uh, but just use half the carrot. Then once you have your, your carrots that you can stack, go ahead and stack them and then cut it into strips. And that's for your julienne carrots. Just making it really fast for you to add to the cucumbers. Now it's really up to you how much carrot you want to add, but half of a smaller carrot is typically enough. Also, we only use the equivalent of one whole English cucumber, but if you want to make a bigger batch, you're more than welcome to, okay? For your green onion, I like to separate the whites from the green part, right? And then the green part I can use for garnish for other other things, uh, especially if I'm making Korean barbecue, I can actually use that later. But I'm gonna use the white part right here and just incorporate a little bit of this by mincing it, or you can do it by slices, okay? I'm gonna start with slices first. Now again, garlic chive is so much better, but since I don't have garlic chive, I'm just using green onion. You can leave it into slice it in slices like this, or you can mince it up. Because I already have the white onion slices, I'm gonna go ahead and mince this up for the extra flavor. You can incorporate some of the green if you want. So again, if you want some of that green color in your kimchi, then go ahead and add that. This is really up to you. I'm just giving you a quick guideline and technique so that you can actually make this at home. Make your own Korean barbecue night and have fun with it. Okay, now it's time to make the paste. So we have the gochucharu, again, is the Korean chili flakes. I am going to start off with about a good heaping two tablespoons. We're gonna put sesame oil. Two tablespoons as well. Just to make sure the chili flakes start getting moist. We're gonna add about a teaspoon of sugar to start. Again, if you like it more sweet, you can add more sugar. I don't like it too sweet, so start off with a little bit of sugar, then I'll taste it. Then about a tablespoon of fish sauce. I'm 
And this looks like it needs some more sesame oil. So I'm gonna add another tablespoon of sesame oil. And then we'll start with that. So we're making that paste out of the sugar, sesame oil, fish sauce, the gochicharo, the Korean chili flakes. Then I'm gonna add my garlic, ginger. I'm gonna add those green onion bottoms. Mix it around. Making it to a nice paste. Again, you can adjust this, go ahead and taste it. You can adjust it, add more fish sauce, add more sugar, add more chili flake, add more sesame oil, it's up to you. But I'm gonna go ahead and taste this first, see how it is, and then I'm gonna incorporate the other ingredients together. So in here, this mixing bowl, I have my cumbers that I had drained out. I have my carrots. I have my white onion. And then I'm gonna add that marinade. I'm just gonna give it a good, nice toss. Adding more marinade as I see fit. Making sure every single vegetable in here is nicely coated, okay? All right, so I've been mixing this. I go, went ahead and got and tasted it as well. So I needed a little bit more chili flake and sesame oil and a touch of fish sauce. What I really want you to get used to is making sure that you get used to tasting your food, right? If it needs adjusting, if you want more sugar, you need to really just balance it out. So sugar, salt, it's whatever you really want. And then after I'm done mixing it, I go ahead and take my container that I'm gonna put it in and let it sit out and marinate at room temperature for a good two hours. Now, if you're impatient, you can eat this right now, but two hours gives it enough time to really marinate and get that all that good flavor in there. But that's pretty much it, guys. So it's really easy to make. If you're making a really quick cucumber kimchi again a lot of respect to those moms grandmas chefs cooks out there that anyone who's making really amazing kimchi out there help me out send me a recipe that you want me to try out and i'm happy to do that got a little messy over here but we got this is gonna sit and marinate oh yeah marinate go ahead and marinate that I'm so excited to eat this with some Korean barbecue tonight. I was making some rice earlier. I really wanted to take the time to make this recipe. I'm glad you guys could watch. Please let me know how it turns out if you give it a try. Thank you so much for joining us and let that marinate. I'll let you marinate on those thoughts and get back to me.